All right, Nick, let's talk about the Michigan Wolverines. The Wolverines have been in the news quite a lot lately for quite a lot of different reasons. But for this latest reason about Jim Harbaugh, I think they've had the perfect response. I'm Andrew, and this is Saturday Morning Inspection. All right, Nick, as I alluded to, the Wolverines have been in the news for quite a lot of different reasons. But this latest reason, the show cause order, given to Jim Harbaugh. I think the Wolverines had the perfect response. Let's get in the article and we can talk more about it on the other side. This, of course, from Pro Football Talk. It says, on Wednesday, the NCAA issued a show cause order to former Michigan coach and current Chargers coach Jim Harbaugh. On Friday, Michigan says, essentially, we've got your show cause right here. Via Aaron McMahon of MLive.com, Michigan will bring Harbaugh back on August 31st to serve as an honorary captain for its home opener. I look forward to having him back in Ann Arbor, Michigan Athletic Director Ward Manuel said this week. Nick, I think this is the perfect answer to the question. I'm curious what your thoughts are, but Michigan fans, in the comment section below, let us know what do you think about this whole situation? What do you think about Michigan's response here? Do you like their stick it to the man type of approach? Or do you think that this is a little bit over the top? Let us know what your thoughts are in the comment section below. But Nick, nonetheless, what are your thoughts on what Michigan is doing with Jim Harbaugh? Look, I think it's the perfect response. And when it comes to anything with the NCAA, it's important to understand everybody hates the NCAA and always has, right? Whether it's a coach, whether it's a player, whether it's recruits, transfer guys, everyone hates the NCAA. The only time people even care to like the NCAA is when the NCAA does something to hurt their rival's team. The rest of the time, everyone hates it. So in terms of smart positioning, being anti-NCAA is the right move to make. But I also think this is great from a persuasion perspective as well. When you consider the fact that this brings a lot of energy and a lot of buzz to that first game, kind of gets an all eyes on mentality get everyone hey harbaugh's going to be back what a statement what a what a middle finger right at the ncaa right here and energy is the first step of persuasion energy and attention once you get everyone focused on you everyone's eyes are on you like huh wow i really like what they're doing here they're really sticking into the ncaa that's a really cool thing i really like their mentality down in ann arbor and that will affect recruits positively that will affect transfer guys positively, right? Everything Michigan is doing and everything every good program does is focused on getting better talent in the door, right? They're not just making the statement just out of whim, just saying, yeah, we don't like the NCAA, even though they don't and they shouldn't like it. The NCAA is ridiculously idiotic in this kind of stuff. But this is all about recruiting, all about transfers, all about energy, all about dollars, raising money, all of those things. That's why this is so smart. This is going to get the donors fired up. This is going to get the, the kids fired up in terms of the, the, the campus, the students, right? This is going to get former players fired up. This is going to get everyone fired up all aligned behind this new Michigan era with Sean Moore behind the wheel here. And look, it's going to help in recruiting, right? Because recruits are going to see this energy and attention and buzz, and they're going to focus on Michigan. Transfer, same thing. And again, I can't reiterate this enough. Everybody hates the NCAA, right? You do not want to be on the side of the NCAA in terms of the argument. If you are, you're kind of the goody two-shoes. You're lame. Who wants to be part of that program? Michigan's the outlaw. They're the maverick, right? They're the unfairly prosecuted. However you want to define them, they're in perfect position to set themselves up to be the really favorite destination for a lot of young recruits and transfers that are looking for a place to continue their college football careers or start their college football careers. This is the absolute perfect strategic response to everything and a great move by Michigan. Yeah, Nick, and I think when we see here what they're doing, everything that's going on with Harbaugh, this is just like you said. This is incredibly dumb why the NCAA is doing all this. I feel like you know they're, they're putting on this show – they're trying to get, you know, everybody riled up, kick the hornet's nest, all of these kind of things. You know, Harbaugh's not even in the NCAA anymore. He's at the NFL level. Uh, whether or not they digging in and they found valid uh, sanctions from COVID recruiting, dead period rules, stuff like that, that's one thing. But I feel like if you dig into any team lately, any big team, you're going to find something along those lines. I think they're just trying to go after Harbaugh because of his quite frankly, cavalier attitude and just a, a little bit disregard for the NCAA in the fact that he's just done with it. Dwight left, is in the NFL now, and I think Michigan and their school is now in the same vein as that as well. It's just, hey, there's been a lot going on lately. 
He kind of been all over our case. And if you want to keep pushing, this is going to be what we have for you. This is the attitude that we'll have for you. And I think you're right. This is the right side of the argument to be on. I think the NCAA is slowly losing power as the new conference the line, as we get the bigger Big Ten, the bigger SEC. Eventually, it might not be around anymore. So I think it's a last-ditch effort for them to have some semblance of control. But I really love what Michigan and Coach Harbaugh have done here. Yeah, you bring up a great point in terms of power and control. I mean, the joke for a long time was that the SEC was stronger than the NCAA. Now with all the rules changes and things like that, I think the SEC is certainly stronger than the NCAA. And now that the Big Ten is really juiced up with a lot of other programs as well, I think now the Big Ten is stronger than the NCAA, right? And of course, the college football playoff has completely eliminated the whole purpose of an NCAA, right? The NCAA is losing power, right? They're just an old school dying institution that's just trying to stay relevant. And again, everybody hates them. So perfect positioning here from Michigan being the strong they're coming at it from a position of strength a position of on the side of the people on the side of recruits on the side of transfers and I think it's going to help them very much in the long run